Good morning. Oh, good morning, everybody. I hope you can hear me. Um, it's April. What? I know, but the sun is out. Birds are just chirping and singing. We've got some going on out here. Happy, happy April. Okay, so April. Happy spring. Now, I stepped out this morning to get my Labradorite, which is just here charging in the moon last night. And um, I could have sworn it was like 70 degrees. I checked the weather, it was 39. But you know what? That sun just feels so good, so warm. A sun, by the way, is a wonderful way to charge your energy. So as we're waking up this morning with my fresh cup of mushroom coffee, something, I don't, I don't know exactly what it is. It's very good though. Um, we are charging up and bringing on some good vibes for the day. Okay, so let's talk April. Um, first off, how's every do everyone doing with the transition of the seasons? Uh, things are going well over here. <laughs> um, yeah, April. How is it April already? So my feels on April, and again, just take what resonates. So you know, we're now in the new season. Um, whether it is spring or fall, depending on where you are. But um, it's also, you know, the beginnings of the astrological year, which we talked about, you know, last month. Um, and, you know, I'm wondering how everyone did when it came to setting your intentions. What is it that we released and left in the last astrological year? What are we bringing in? So now we're in kind of that space of, okay, all right, we've got new seasons coming in. The energy is shifting. It's been a lot lately. Um, I know I've been dealing with dizzy spells and <laughs> I know other people who have as well. Um, there's a lot going on in the this astrologically. Look it up. Pluto is doing its thing. Um, there's a lot coming up emotionally for people. Uh, physically, there's a lot of purging going on. Um, a lot's happening within the stomach area. I know quite a few people who've had issues with the stomach. Um, and you know, a lot of that is tied to that solar plexus. So that is a self-confidence, self-worth, all that fun stuff. So it's, it's a lot of clearing. A lot of clearing is happening right now. Um, but aside from that, uh, April for me, I mean, we, we've got a lot of lovely things going on. Um, for me in particular, I think it's because it's my birthday month. My birthday's on the 9th. Happy Easter. <laughs> uh, but so it's always a really big beginning time, but it's also, again, the um, astrological new year, and we've got, you know, that kind of rebirth energy, particularly if you're up in the spring in the northern hemisphere. And um, so I was thinking a lot about what this whole new beginning and this powerful kind of energy we're working with is all about. And now, again, only take what resonates. Oh, by the way, I'm Vanessa. <laughs> I always forget to introduce myself. Anyone who's new, welcome to the fam. Um, if you're back, it's so lovely to see you again. Apologies for the squinting, but I am loving this warmth. I'm saying that as I'm bundled up. No, it's beautiful. It really is. The sun is incredible. Um, so I'm just going to soak it up. So where was I? Right, I'm Vanessa. Welcome. Uh, thanks for hanging out. So brand new beginnings. Where was I going with this? Okay, just take what resonates, but this this is how I like to work. Um, I like to think of our beings being made up of four types of bodies, okay? And I know other people that resonate with this as well. Some people go with three. I like to get a little deeper, or Scorpio rising, like, let me dive. Let's see how complicated we can make things. <laughs> um, so four types of bodies. That was a joke, by the way. Um, Oh, hello. It's a big old bird. We have our physical body, our mental body, our emotional body, and then our energetic body. Now, for us to be living in flow and in balance, we really want to um, be tending to all four bodies, right? Self-care, as you'll always hear me say, if you've been in my classes, if you've been in my sessions, 
if we just got coffee, <laughs> self-care is massive. Um, and when we tend to all four of those bodies, it allows us to really be in flow, right? Um, now, oftentimes, you know, kind of uh, collectively in society, at least here in the US, um, you know, speaking of our physical body, physical health, taking care of all that, that's very highly looked upon, talked about, all that fun stuff. Our mental body is becoming more of a conversation, which is fantastic. Our emotional body tends to be looked at once the mental bodies dove into, or, you know, maybe if there's struggles within relationships, suddenly the emotional body comes up and we don't know what to do with it. <laughs> or, um, and I mean, any kind of relationship. Uh, and then there's our spiritual energetic body, right? Um, which I am always rooting for tending to. So I thought I'd share with you today, kind of, you know, I'm on this journey too, just as much as you are. So I'm doing the homework just as much as you, and I'm going through it just as much as you are. Um, I was thinking about my four bodies and what adjustments that I am making and needing to make in order to really, um, you know, start this new year. I mean, I've got a new life cycle year that's kicking in, um, but also you new know, astrological year and kind of, uh, you know, taking advantage of this rebirth energy. Um, what are some ways that I could adjust in my four bodies? And I share this with you to give you some ideas um, because I would love for you to take a think on how it is that you can, um, how can you tend to yours, right? So I wrote them down, little notes, little notes, because I wasn't gonna remember this off the top of my head, it's early. Um, but I do have it like written so I can keep referring to it. And of course this isn't like overnight it all changes. Well, I mean, I'm trying um, to make it a habit, right? We're, we're rewiring our habits, we're rewiring all the things within so that our external reality, like attracts like, um, can start to match what it is that's in balance, in balance within me. Okay, so in case you're curious, here's what Vanessa's doing. Vanessa's loving shifts and adjustments to welcome and maintain flow in her life. Um, so first off, physical, my physical vessel, physical body. How am I tending to, how am I loving on my physical body? Um, I made the decision last week to join our gym um, here just down the road and now with my job with work I work at a spa and a, a wonderful beautiful spa resort and with it comes um, a membership to uh, or access to their wonderful gym for me and this is just because this is how I am um, now the gym isn't my favorite place in the world it takes a lot to get me there. Once I'm there, it's great. It's getting there, that's hard. Um, but since I didn't have to pay for it, I never really thought about it. <laughs> so I, um, we have another gym right across the way. It's all the same kind of company and property. And um, it's uh, the gym that is for the local community um, in the area. And so I decided, you know what, I am going to sign up for a year at the gym, I am paying for a year. Um, and I looked at the class schedule for what worked with my own personal schedule. I picked the different classes that I felt were gonna be, one worked but with my schedule, but two, like focus on what it was that I was looking to get more healthy, tighten up, tone up, all that fun stuff. And, um, and then I took those classes and I, put them in my calendar the way I would my appointments for my clients. Um, I'm, I'm making those classes a work, like I'm honoring each class and each gym time. So in the days that I don't have classes um, that I'm able to get to the gym, I am also putting that in as a time block, as a permanent, like on my calendar and not shifting that around. Um, and then I'm honoring them the way that I would any uh, client or healing session that I have on the books, right? Um, as that time approaches, I do my prep, right? For the gym, it's getting my gym clothes on and getting my water and all that stuff. Um, and then also the prep being, you know, what are my intentions? Um, uh, showing up 
completely like ready to work um, in a clear space, a clear head, kind of doing my own grounding, cleansing, clearing before going into the gym. Because one, I don't want to bring that like frenetic energy into this space. And two, um, if I go in with a clear intention, then I find that a lot more opens up, a lot more moves within my body. My body responds better. And the energy, it's, it's all energy, right? Energy is still flowing. When you're working out, you're getting that energy to start flowing more. Uh, if you go in with clear intentions, then you can also allow while you're doing particular weightlifting or uh, whatever it may be that you are kind of focusing on, um, you can use that energy and intention to ground and to clear, right? Um, now, when you're clearing and working out, I recommend that at least having that intention or the visualization of as the energy is clearing out of you, that you're going to send it down to the earth, right? We don't want to be running or doing our thing and clearing our energy and spitting it out everywhere, <laughs> directed to the earth as, and it also helps with um, your breathing, right? While you're doing specific moves. Um, uh, if you have to focus on certain body parts, putting that energy and intention there and then like pushing that energy through, it's, it's all energy. Okay, so that's my little two cents on the gym. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. My physical body is taking care of it in that way. My mental body, I love my therapist so much, so, so much. I am a big um, advocate for mental health and um, and uh, going to therapy and all of that, right? I think all our pieces and all the different healing areas are necessary, including training if you can, or like classes, things like that for the gym um, or sports or coaching, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, therapy and um, mentoring and uh, you know natural ways of healing or um, energy healing all of the pieces that we all use everyone has so many gifts so like I encourage you to be open to trying all the different ones and then creating your own team right it's not just like you only work with this one Reiki practitioner <laughs> that's not how the wellness world works um, at least in that area um, we all have different gifts. So allow yourself to work with the different people who can provide for you the things that you need in that moment. Sorry, tangent. Okay, this is why I have notes. So mental, back to the mental. What am I doing for my mental health? So in therapy, I have found, I'm being, being all open, real, and honest with you guys. Um, I have found that, uh, that I would use probably the first half at least of therapy to, for the most part, to talk about, she's kind of update my therapist on everything, but all the good things, right? How great life is, all the things I'm grateful for, all these things. And then it'd be like the last 10 minutes I would spend um, actually talking about the things that I'm like struggling through. Um, I always felt like I had to prep it with the story of the good. Um, and the reason when I really thought about like, why am I using my hour with her um, to mostly give her the good vibes and the good stories. Well, I realized that I was feeling guilty um, or bad or um, I didn't want to unload all my stuff on her because I adore her. <laughs> so I, um, yeah, I would, um, what would I do? I would instead just give her kind of a kind of the piece of the root that I was already aware of and working on. And then of course, it would only give us those 10 minutes to really dive into it. And um, instead of me showing up, now here's where I'm adjusting, right? I've decided I'm gonna be more mindful of how I use our time together. Um, I am going to be showing up to our sessions with my homework already done, which is how I show up. I just leave, I leave the goods till the end. I'm gonna forget all the preamble and how amazing everything is, unless it's just one day where everything is great and I have nothing that I'm really facing. Great, those are always great sessions, but typically we're always going through something. Even if it's the tiniest thing, you know, um, and allowing those tiny pieces, even if to me they feel insignificant or small, they never are. It's always something, right? Everything, everything is important on the journey. So, I am um, going to use that time to bring the homework in, 
and say, here's what's coming up. I'm having, facing fears of abandonment. I'm facing, I don't know, some examples, um, jealousy, uh, which then we go, okay, cool, what's the jealousy about? Well, I feel like I'm not worthy of this relationship. I'm not worthy of this job. I'm not worthy, I'm dealing with jealousy of others, whatever it may be, right? Um, and coming in with the root or with the, the, the ache already and allowing her to do her job, which is to hold space, to listen and then to help guide, right? Same job I have. <laughs> Cause I was thinking about that. I'm like, you know, in my sessions, my clients are amazing. They show up and they're like, help. And I'm like, great, let's do this. Cause that's why I'm here. Um, to listen, to guide, to hold space. Same reason why my therapist is there. But me being a healer, I, I that's that piece of like, oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna put this on you, you know, when she's like, hello, <laughs> if you're me, I'm like, please don't hold back. We can only go so far in our session as you are um, willing to bring forward, as you are comfortable to bring forward, but also, um, you know, the more you can bring to the forefront, the deeper we can go. It's the same exact thing. So I had to start rewiring and reshifting. Don't protect my therapist from ickiness. <laughs> uh, so that's the physical gym, mental, adjusting my focus on therapy. Emotional, okay, here's an important one. So we're always, um, I don't know about you, uh, but for me, there very often at any point in my life, there is, you know, maybe someone in my personal life, in my personal world who's going through something and I wanna be there for them. Um, and, uh, you know, and for example, if it's a partner or something like that, or someone that you're really close to and they are going through a lot in their, in their story, um, that's a, that's a lot for the other person to um, hold space and take on. And this is, this was completely voluntary. It's like, I am here, right? Uh, now, what I was not good at doing, or I guess what I started to learn to do, and I'm like, okay, this is gonna be something I'm gonna consistently do, is in the past, I would be there for someone, I would help with their healing if they need it, I would, hold space but then I would kind of halt my entire life in order to support them and do all I can to help them on their healing journey or through their grief or through their stress or their anxiety or their pain right and I would uh, then take everything on and then I would start to just get weighed down and start breaking down because it was a lot for me to carry and that was me completely signing up for it and they were not actively throwing things at me. It was just like, gimme, 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 gimme. I love you, gimme, 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 right? Um, so now the adjustment is um, to give myself permission to voice, and I, I have been doing this, and luckily um, the person that I have been in this um, dynamic with uh, is 100% open and very um, aware of my energy and my feelings and, and and wanting this for me. Um, so it's really assisted me in realizing, oh, this is something I have to really be doing more often. I have to start doing, which I am doing, is allowing myself to voice when it, things become too much, when um, I'm overwhelmed, um, and to not feel guilty or feel bad about expressing when maybe uh, I just need a breather, or um, you know what, the, the weight of the story is a little too much for me right now. Um, without the fear, now the other person, whoever it may be, any dynamic, can react and respond however they want. That's not my business. But for me, it was really allowing myself to, um, to voice without fear that they would feel that I was being selfish, um, that I was not being um, compassionate or um, that I was not, um, you know, being mindful of their pain and their grief or anything that they were going through by expressing that I don't have the emotional capacity right now because I'm also going through my own world and story as well in my own things. Um, I don't have the space to hold uh, for all of your stuff, right? Um, 
for your story and your your heaviness as well um and you know and this happens in friendships this happens in co-workers if you're close to them family partners kids right no matter what the dynamic is um i'm always saying you got to put yourself first and and this has happened in the past where i have expressed it and i've lost friendships from it um suddenly they just completely disappear and I never heard from them again. Um, and that was very painful. And I have had that fear that that was going to happen again. And so um, I found myself buttoning up and just not, you know, not saying anything and then getting overwhelmed. And then suddenly I'm having anxiety and suddenly I'm crying and suddenly I'm like, this is too much. And then worry that I'm letting other people down by um, sharing that. So. We're not doing that anymore, right? Now, if you express to someone and they react in a way where they are just like, well, you're being selfish, I'm the one going through this, whatever it may be, they slam the door, they're out, or they don't even give you a reason, you just have to say, okay, I just, you gotta accept they're on their journey in whatever format they are, and you're on your own journey. But again, we wanna bring, give yourself permission to voice what's happening emotionally for you. Um, and the more that you can honor your own emotions, the more you're going to align with people who can also honor theirs and honor yours, right? We want clear communication with the sun. All right, finally, energetically and spiritually, right? So we got physical, mental, emotional, now our energetic and spiritual body. How am I going to help balance that out? Um, what I've decided to do is I am choosing to honor my energy and this has come up a lot in work lately it's been wonderful at work but it's been a big onflow of stuff <laughs> um you know suddenly classes are getting very very full and i'm so grateful and i'm having a lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions i'm so grateful but it's it happened so quickly in a truncated amount of time that it became very very clear that there's only one of me <laughs> and i want to help as many people as possible but there's only so much that I can do, so much that I can give. And um, I realized I, I need to look at my schedule and go, I can only take this amount of clients on, this amount of guests on, this amount of one-on-ones. Um, I can only teach these amount of classes um, before I start to get exhausted, drained. Um, my immune system starts to go down. My personal relationships are getting affected because I become just a nutcase energetically because I'm so tapped out. Uh, a good friend of my network, um, uh, we call it when my energy becomes porcupine Vanessa because she says my energy is like a porcupine. They start doing like tick, 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 when I start getting to my wit's end. Um, so of course he's like porcupine Vanessa is back and I'm like I'm gonna leave the prep room now. <laughs> I'm gonna go outside and breathe and I'm gonna clear for a bit. I apologize. Um, or if I get too tired, too tapped out, and just overwhelmed, my um, you know my little two-year-old, three-year-old Vanessa is gets very tired and cranky and sleepy and hungry and needing cuddles, and she has three more guests lined up, and that's not fair to those who have come to work with me, and it's not fair to me to work with them from a space where I mean I don't go in in that energy, but to have to tell the toddler you need to chill for a bit we'll feed you at the end of the day <laughs> um and then really just keep pushing through and praying that I can hold enough space and be clear enough to channel clearly and to work so all that to be said um I am adjusting and like not feeling guilty when I can't take new clients on when I am when I have a session and a migraines come on and I can either push through the migraine, which doesn't help anybody, it's all energy, or I can actually go, my body needs to rest today, I need to reschedule our appointment. Um, I am honoring, I know when my cycle is coming, so I look at those days and I know energetically what's gonna be happening to me around there. And if I can, the most that I can, I will block out as much time as I can within those few days where I know it's just gonna be rough so that I can give myself that time and space for my body. This covers all four, your physical, mental, emotional, and energetic body um, for us ladies who are dealing with cycles still, or moon cycles. Um, 
to have that quiet space and to have that um, time to recoup and, and really go back in with himself and, and take care of this to show up the best that we can for life, <laughs> for us. Um, I, this, our, my newsletter, my newsletter is going out late this month, right? Right now, it's April 4th, today is April 4th. Um, I was exhausted. I had a very long week this last week. This, and this is not about um, excuses. This is about, again, honoring the energy. Uh, and I was dragging and I was a wreck. And you know, by the time I got home, it was just, it was bad, it was bad. Um, and I kept going, I have to do my newsletter. I have to do the video. I have to figure out what I'm going to talk about, you know, all the things. And it was all the go, go. That was a very like, got to get this done by this deadline. Now I know not all of us have the, um, luxury of being able to postpone deadlines, but when you can, um, you know, trusting that it's going to go out and the people that are going to connect with it, who are meant to, will connect with it. Um, but at the right time. And by the time yesterday came around, I'm like, okay, Monday's the day. We're getting it all to, it's all gonna be out by Monday. I got hit with the worst dizzy spells. <laughs> uh, and I probably shouldn't have even been driving to the gym. Um, and my body and everything in me was like, you can't do this right now. Sorry. So um, they said, okay, newsletter will go out on Wednesday. But that's like a hard deadline now because now then I'm going to be gone for the weekend. So, you know, there's there's a balance in that too. How much are you honoring your energy? How much are you then making excuses? Going, I just don't feel like doing it, right? Where is that balance? Um, some months, uh, if you've been with me for a while, there no newsletter went out, no video went out because life was a lot, and I couldn't show up for you in the space and the energetic space um, and clarity that, uh, you know, it's all an energy transfer. As you're watching videos, as you're watching um, TikToks and, and all sorts of things, you know, recognizing and, and remembering that it's all energy. So whatever I'm sharing with you is the energy that you are receiving. And I don't wanna show up here, you know, do a half job and, um, be a wreck because <laughs> that's not the energy I want to share with everyone uh, so there we go so yeah so if that means emails go out a day late some of my guests have had to wait three days to get their emails and have been so patient and wonderful with it um, because by the time I get home I'm spinning you know and and we don't we don't want to get to that point right so that's it's been a big um, learning and curve and uh, a dance so all that being said, April, how are you going to tend to your four types of bodies, physical body, mental body, emotional body, energetic body, so that you can um, stay in balance, stay in flow, and uh, also be able to just ride the waves of what life brings. We can't control most anything that happens in our life, but what we can control is how we take care of ourselves and um, you know, using different tools and techniques to allow ourselves to navigate these waters a little better as much as we possibly can. You can only do you, you can't do the work for others. If others around you are like, they wanna go down and do their own thing and they're not into it, wait, that's their journey. You just have to be accepting and open for everyone to be where they are at that time. So here's where I am at this time, loving this warmth of 39 degrees it's I mean I think it feel I feel like I'm it's like 70 <laughs> um, and in this beautiful I'm so grateful for the neighborhood for the home that I live in for these amazing birds all around um, and I can't wait to continue to see how the everything continues to evolve and the seasons shift and the warmth really starts to come in and um, yeah, so happy April, everybody, to all of my fellow April birthday babies out there. Happy birthday to you as well. Um, happy Aries season into Taurus season. Again, I'm Vanessa Hernandez. My spiel, I'm a Reiki shamanic energy healer, spiritual awakening mentor. I do guided meditation, hands-on healing, distance healing, inner child healing, past life healing, all sorts of fun things, lots of clearings, land clearings, space clearings, um, 
I assist souls as they cross over if they need any assistance and channel messages from spirit, all that fun stuff. Um, I'm so grateful to have you guys here. Thank you for being with me on this journey with me. Thanks for allowing me to be on this journey with you. And if I can be of any assistance to you, find me, let's chat. Um, yeah, sign up for the newsletter if you want a five-step process on how to navigate this whole crazy life. Uh, guided meditation, 20 minutes. Downloadable for you is your gift if you sign up. And um, it's grounding your energy, shielding your energy, clearing your energy of your own lower vibration, clearing everybody else's energy out of your own energetic field and calling yourself back home. All right, I'm gonna go. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. Sending you so much love and happy, happy, spring happy april and fall <laughs> happy april